All right, so I owe you guys an explanation. Last week I uploaded a video called why I ran away from home and a lot of you guys got mad at me for not explaining what really happened. So in today's video, I'm going to answer all of your burning questions. All right, so the first most requested question was why did I move to San Luis Obispo? So if you guys don't know, I'm currently here in Central California and I moved like a week ago and this was so not well planned out. Like I've never been here before and I am well aware we're in the middle of a global pandemic. So it was very, very scary and nerve wracking to move here. But the reason why I decided to take that risk is because I am currently filming a video with this company. It's one of the largest e-commerce commerce platforms and I can't really say who it is and I know it's so annoying to say that but I'm filming this series with them and it requires me to be close to Los Angeles but if you guys know currently LA and everywhere is in lockdown and I really wanted to be able to be active so San Luis Obispo is a very small city where the beaches are open and people are still hiking so honestly I just wanted to escape LA where I'm from and just be able to be here the good thing is I'm only two hours away from where I need to work and film but I'm still able to go outside honestly being in quarantine is something where I don't want to complain about but I'm definitely a lot more happier here and I'm able to just be more creative and take time for myself and you guys know like in the last video I basically said that like I was really stressed like I didn't know where I was going to get my next project or pay everything that I owed which leads me to my second question which is a lot of people ask what do I actually do slash what is my company I believe there was literally someone named Emma that kind of got really mad she basically said that you know we love some clarity around what you really do so to be very honest guys I have a hard time answering this for myself because I am a very easily bored person and I don't want to sound like this Gen Z like I'm quirky and I have a short attention span but I definitely balance between projects and you guys know my channel that I balance between a lot of freaking content I have made software in the past it's called PBJ I've made a food box called eat like I've made so many various products that never ever satisfy me and I'm happy to say I've kind of found out what I like consistently and that's making videos so right now I would consider myself someone who creates videos and stories for brands. And that's my company called X8 Media. We're a media company and we're launching a few YouTube channels in collaboration with brands in specifically tech and entrepreneurship. Long story short, I actually don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And all I know is that I have a very big love for talking to you guys, communication, talking to brands, consulting, and video making is the core of it. So yeah, I hope that answers my question. Okay, the third question I got is in conjunction to that, which is what is the secret project? Okay, so in the vlog, when I moved to here, I basically said I landed a secret project. So basically at X8 Media, one of the largest clients we're working with, and uh, she's quite large. I've never signed a, like this big of a deal with them. I just can't believe I even got the project in the first place because in the video, I literally said I didn't think I was gonna get it. I literally thought I was gonna walk away with no project with them, which is essentially all the money that I needed to pay for the next few months. So long story short, this video project is me creating an original series for this brand. It's gonna be live in September, so you guys will see that, but it's a tech creative commerce company. It's a really amazing brand that I use a lot and I'm really excited to work with them. Long story short, that's happening very soon and I'm creating videos for them. That's just like the easiest way to put it. <laughs> okay, so the fourth question I got is actually from my friend, Symphony. She just asks me like, how do you afford your rent? So obviously you guys know I'm here like in San Luis Obispo. Rent is around $1,000-ish a month. I don't know why I felt like answering this question, but I just did want to tell you guys like a lot of people ask like how I make money. <laughs> I will link below my video about how I create income as a 19 year old entrepreneur. I run a few businesses like X8 Media is the core, but I have a couple other projects, like I said. So I'll link that below. And like I said, I just make money on the internet and it sounds really weird, but it's extremely inconsistent. Sometimes big projects come that are like tens and thousands of dollars. And sometimes I don't have any, like I'm still figuring it out as I go, just to be very honest. But I really am so excited to say that throughout everything, like money is not my motivating factor. I just want to create stories that help you guys and connect with more creators that's the reason why i started so many youtube channels one called the green room yeah as you can tell i get bored really easily but the thing that's consistent is i just love making videos and i just want to say thank you for everybody who commented on the last video saying they love the editing i have a team of editors right now but i'm so knee deep into that project that it just means a lot and i just am so thankful for those comments all right so number five camille asks why did you throw away the oranges oh my god okay so there's a clip in the vlog where i threw away a bag of oranges and honestly i feel so bad because so many comments basically called me 
out for throwing a bag of oranges. Here's the thing, this one orange was super moldy and I read this thing where if one orange is moldy, then all of them are. I don't know if that's only with bread. I forgot, but I read somewhere where if one thing is moldy, it will spread to everything. So I'm really sorry. I'm not wasteful. Actually, I'm really cheap and frugal, so I feel really bad. But yes, those oranges definitely should have had another life. Okay, number six is how are you social distancing throughout the move? Just want to let you guys know that like I moved from my hometown to here without contacting anybody. Like, yes, I took a shit in multiple rest stops, but for the most part, like I'm quarantined here. I don't see anyone else other than my housemates that live here and people that are local. So I'm just being really cautious. Always having a mask is really important to me. I know that a lot of people were concerned about that, but I am doing my best. And you know, as lockdown is getting lifted here, I'm still taking precautions to, to social distance, of course. My last few questions are related to surfing. You guys wanted to know why I'm surfing so much. You can follow me on my Instagram to see the ocean aesthetic, but I've been surfing because like I said, I'm filming this video at my company, X Media with a brand and it has to do with surfing. Like it's gonna sound really weird, but the series does have to do with the ocean. So I need to train in the water a lot. So I've been surfing every day. It's gonna sound weird. I'm not an actor. I swear to God, it's just, it's a part of the short story. So anyways, you'll see it very soon. All right guys, so thanks so much for watching this Q&A. I hope this like clears up my living situation. And I just wanna let you guys know one more thing, which is I am just so floored by your guys' support and your comments. I don't typically post videos like that. So thank you again, Dharma Nation for being so sweet. This weekend, I'm actually filming the project with the company, so I don't get to say a lot, and I know it's super annoying, but when the announcement comes, you will be the first to know. Anyways, that was today's video. I hope you guys know that I don't know everything. A lot of times when I watch entrepreneurship videos, I feel like the founder is super intelligent and smart, and I'm not trying to discredit myself. I just think that part of being an entrepreneur is not knowing everything. So I hope this video kind of shows you a little light to my mindset, why I love, oh yeah, by the way, I love living here in San Luis Obispo. It's amazing, and change is good. So thanks so much for watching my channel. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.